All right, we got this uh, safe sex campaign in Brazil uh, really triggering in public uproar over this. Mm -hmm. Prostitution, as you know, legal in Brazil. The government campaign is meant to encourage prostitutes to use condoms, also take away the stigma surrounding their job here. Yeah, but a lot of people say it goes too far, way too far. They say the campaign's name alone should have raised red flags. It is called, I am happy being a prostitute. Rafael Romo joins us to talk a little bit about this. Um, Michael and I, we were <laughs> discussing this with you earlier. Yeah. Who's happy to be a prostitute, for God's sake? How did they come up with this name? That's what ridiculous. What were they thinking? Yeah. It was a creation of the director of the Ministry of Health's Office of Sexually Transmitted Diseases, AIDS, and Viral Hepatitis. And the idea was to, uh, in a way, reach this community, the, the, the community of prostitutes in Brazil, which is very large, and tell them about prevention programs to stop the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. But it definitely, as you can see, it backfired. And, and let's look at the image so that our viewers can decide for themselves if it's a little too much. The image in question was used publicly in Brazil, and here it is. And it says in Portuguese, Eu sou feliz sendo prostituta. In English, I am happy being a prostitute. Of course, a lot of people very uncomfortable in Brazil about this. Brazil remains uh, the, the country in the world with the largest population of Catholics. There's, Catholics, there's also a large population of evangelicals, and they were complaining about this. They're saying that this goes way too far, Michael. Anderson. Yeah, you've got, of course, you know, you've got the World Cup coming. I think there's, a, there's another big football uh, 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 competition coming up before that, but then the World Cup, the 2016 Olympics, is the government start trying to get ahead of that? Well, you have to put everything in perspective. On the one hand, the government of Brazil and the Ministry of Health have been internationally recognized for being proactive. Mm. The approach to the problem of prostitution from the ministry has been, we do have a big problem, we have to do something about it, we cannot hide it. And so what they have done is reached out to this community uh, by the free distribution of condoms, by prevention programs that have worked very well. Now, you mentioned that there's two very large international events next year, the World mm -hmm. Cup, and in 2016, the Olympics. Of course, you're going to have probably an increase in the number of prostitutes in Brazil. And the idea behind the campaign was that, to try to increase the knowledge. But then, as you can see, it, it, it backfired. Yeah, it, a lot it, of people complaining about it. I noticed, too, I mean, all of the ads here, they have women. And I know, you know, prostitution is legal in Brazil. What about the men? Are there, I mean, obviously, there are male prostitutes as well. Is there some sort of, is this directed towards them, this campaign? It, it is It is directed to, to, to both women and men. Uh, but by far, this problem is affecting women. And the other part of the campaign was trying to prevent abuse against uh, prostitutes. Mm. Uh, but there's also the component of, and the main criticism from, from some of the conservative groups in Brazil was, we have a problem with very young people in their teens trying to enter the prostitution world. And from their perspective, this kind of campaign promotes and encourages that kind of behavior sort but of glamorizing. letting people uh, know in a way that it is okay, that it is recognized by the government and that the government doesn't have a problem with it. So that was one of the main concerns and problems. Yeah, but I ironically, I suppose at the end of the day, it's a public information campaign. We're talking about it. I bet this row has given them all the publicity in the world. But let me read to you what the minister himself said about this. Mm. And he was very firm w about his reaction. He said, for as long as I remain in office, an ad like that will not be part of our campaigns. This is Alexandre Padilla, the Brazilian Minister mm. of Health. I guess that puts an end to the whole controversy. But, getting the, but they've got the headlines already, which I guess was the point. That's so, right. interesting. Yeah, Rafael, thank you.